Coin on. Hello YouTube coin community, it's me Robert with CoinOp. In today's video, we're going to do the year in review 1977. Now a lot of this you're going to need to take and uh, polish up on your grading because I didn't find much in the varieties, however we did find one of them. So take and pay attention to that. Now before we get going, there has been apparently a schedule change for the Greater Cincinnati 30th Annual coin show at the Sharonville Convention Center. From my understanding, there was a conflict of interest on the dates. I will update you just as soon as I find out. I think I'm going to wait until I actually see a signed contract this time. I apologize for telling everybody that it was going to be in June. Until I get a final and I actually see the signed contract, just wait for it. I'll do a special video on it and we hope we get a lot of collaboration with everyone else. Now, I'd also like to take and make a real quick mention. A good friend of the family, Plumber Stacker, sent me this wonderful little gift. I'll tell you what. It's made out of uh, 999 silver. It's a nice little wrench. Um, I don't know. I might use this on something to repair just joking everybody i know that the silver probably wouldn't take and i doubt it would hold up to much torque but thank you plumber stacker we appreciate it i'll put a link to his channel down below and be a sport we're trying to build a coin community have a little bit of fun they can go over to his channel and give him a subscription for now let's look at a little bit of history look at a few coins for the year in review 1979. In 1977, an ounce of gold would have cost you $147.84. A half a gallon of milk would have cost you 84 cents at the grocery store. A dozen of eggs would have cost you 82 cents. And a loaf of bread would have cost you 36 cents per loaf. Headed to the gas pumps, it would have cost you between 62 and 65 cents per gallon for a gallon of gas. The average price of a car was $5,813, and the average price of a home was $49,300, depending upon where you lived. Other things happening in 1977. The premiere of the movie Star Wars came out in May 25th. That year it was nominated for 11 Academy Awards and it won 6 including Best Visual Effects. It was noted as being the best effects at that time. It was directed by George Lucas and it starred Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, and Alex Genius. They were all in the lead roles. Sadly, on August 16, 1977, at the age of a young 42, the King of Rock, Elvis Presley, passed away. A lot of people considered it from prescription drug abuse, but they officially labeled it a heart attack. Many come to mourn his death. Elvis's first RCA single, Heartbreak Hotel, was released in 1956, and it became a number one hit in the United States. I know of many people to this day that miss him and still consider him the King of Rock. In other news, on November 22nd, 1977, the first supersonic flight from London, Paris to New York had begun. You see, in 1970, Congress had banned all commercial supersonic flights due to the sonic booms and high level of noise during takeoff. However, in October of 1977, the ban was overturned by the Supreme Court after the argument that Air Force One produced more noise at takeoff and in landing. Now, before we go looking at some coins, I'd like to take and point out, if you go to pcgs.com forward slash photo grade you can take and see this website now this is where you can take and grade coins it has like here i'm showing the lincoln cents you can take and you can look at any variety you'd like here's a cents two three cents the jefferson nichols mercury dimes it gives you all the dimes when you pull it up you can start all the way back from the great bust all the way up to the roosevelt 
choose whichever one you would like and this gives you the grades now you can go over here and it'll take in down below here it just gives you to where you can start most of them start out at an AG3 and they go all the way up in this photo grade to a mint state 68 or 69 depending upon the series that you're looking at okay let's look at some coins now the reason I put up the grading site to PCGS is most of the coins in this year in review will be because of grades. The first one's going to be a 1 cent 1977 Denver. Now in a mint state 63, the value is only $3. In a mint state 65, it's only $16 and that's actually down in price. However, you get up to a mint state 68 and the price skyrockets up to $7,000. Now there's not many of those and this is reflective of the price. The record was set on February 7th, 2016 at a heritage auction where a PCGS Mint State 68 Red brought $7,050. Next up we're going to look at the Jefferson Nickel and this is a 1977. These are going to be full steps, okay. In a Mint State 63 full step, again they're an affordable $6. Whereas a mint state 65 full steps, they jump up to $90. In a mint state 67, there's only a population of one, and the price on it is $4,500. The record was set February 23rd of 2019 on an eBay auction site, where a PCGS mint state 67 full step brought $4,495. Moving on, we're going to go to the Jeff or to the Roosevelt Dime series. This is a 1977 Denver. Here again, in a mint state 63, the value is only eight dollars. In a mint state 65, they jump to seventy-five dollars, and a mint state 67, they jump up to one thousand two hundred dollars. Now, on PCGS's website, they've only got a pop of four. The record was set on October 21st of 2020 at a heritage auction where PCGS Mint State 67 full bands sold for $1,020. In the Washington quarters, the 1977 in a Mint State 63 is only valued at $1. A Mint State 65, it's valued at $10. A Mint State 67 Plus is valued at $2,500. And the record for it was set on January 12th 2020 a few months ago at a heritage auction and NGC 68 sold for $1,560 Now I wanted to show the Kennedy half 1977 D. This is the normal uh, The normal 77 Denver in a mint state 63 they go for $9 in a mint state 65 $16 you get up into a mint state 68 they go for $5,000. Here again, PCGS has a pop of one. The record was set on September 11th, 2019 at a Heritage Auction where a PCGS Mint State 67 Plus brought $2,160. Now, the only variety I come up with for this year that I felt we would mention was going to be the 1977 Denver Kennedy half dollar. This is the FIVA Stanton 101. That makes it a double die obverse in the Cherry Picker's Guide. In a mint state 63, there's only a population of three. However, the value is only $175. In a mint state 65, there's a population of one, and they value it at $700. The record for this variety was set on January 5th of 2019 on an eBay sale. The NGC Mint State 65 sold, it brought $800. And there you have it. This has been my year in review, 1977. We hope you liked the video. We hope you hit the thumbs up. We hope you subscribe. Look back at some of our older videos and you'll find many other years in review. And I'm going to start doing decades as far as the top varieties that I search for whenever I'm looking through pocket change or just if I get a box from the bank anytime I get an opportunity to look I do I don't get to do it as much as often but I do take and try and look I have fun doing it don't forget plumber stacker take and I'll leave a link down below go check his channel out subscribe to his channel he uh, like I said 
He sent me this really nifty, it's about a half ounce silver wrench. I just love it to death. I'll tell you what, thank you, Plumber Stacker, very much. This was, this is neat. Um, now, I'm guessing this is probably a quarter inch, eh, three eighths. I don't know the size, but I thought I'd just guess at it. I used to turn a couple wrenches whenever I was a little younger, so. Again, we hope you enjoyed the video. Do us a favor, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and if you hit the bell when we go live, like we are live for coin auctions every Monday and Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we also go live on Wednesdays at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we have live auctions. You must register, so you may want to look into the rules on that. As long as you live in the United States of America and you have a PayPal, you're good to go. So thanks a lot. I hope you have a wonderful week, everybody. And as I always like to say, happy hunting, folks.